Hey, on the Asian Critic Check, I review like TV shows and shit. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop now. Welcome to another installment of the Asian Critic Chick TV show reviews. Last time, I reviewed Pokemon. Gotta catch em all. Gotta catch em all. Pokemon. But today, I'm reviewing Pokemon 2000. Oh, never mind. Pokemon 3000 plus one. Digimon. <laughs> Okay, I had never watched this show growing up, so I have no freaking idea what I'm getting into. But just from looking at this opening, how the hell is this show any different from Pokemon? There's monsters, humans, evolution, god damn it! So let's just make this clear. This is a different show, with different characters, and a different concept. Kinda. And it came out only a year after Pokemon was released. Coincidence? Digimon, or Digital Monsters, first started as a virtual pet toy similar to a Tamagotchi released by Bandai in 1997. These digital monsters raise and train to eventually evolve and battle other digital monsters to test its strength and skills. The success of the toy led to an anime movie and an anime series under the name Digimon Adventure. Digimon Adventure was internationally released in August 1999 and aired on Fox Kids in the US and was dubbed in English by Saban Entertainment. The show takes place in the Digi World, a digital world made up of the world's communication network and a group of Digidestin kids are each given Digivices that transport them to the Digi World where the Digimon live and with the help of their human Digimon partners, the Digimon are able to Digivolve into more advanced forms in times of danger. Apparently, this show also digied its way into manga, video games, card games, and nine feature-length films. So, monsters, humans, evolution, and a digital world. Yay! Well, let's get into it. Okay, problem number one, the theme song. It sucks. Not only for the cacophonic music and repetitive lyrics and beat, but for some reason, I feel like this whole opening is a homecoming cheer devoted to one of the Pokemon. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Digimon are the champions! Yeah! Suck on that Pokemon! Wait, 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 let me stop you right there. Saying you didn't like the Digimon's theme is like saying you hated every other theme song in the 90s. In reality, every theme song at the time was basically just screaming in your face. This show's gonna be awesome! Watch it! Watch it! Ah! One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, they all had over-the-top theme songs that's only purpose was to pump up the already pumped up high C juice box drinking little kids in front of them. His name's Olo, he's just like a samurai and a L-A-D-Y, Nami's not shy. Usopp's doing that marksman thing. Sanji's cooking, chopper's done. Oh yeah, that one. Even your precious Pokemon is guilty of this. Sure, it was awesome when I was a kid, and it's still kind of awesome now, but every time I listen to it, it feels like it was written by a hypnotist, specifically there to hypnotize you into believing you're going to see something totally amazing. Marketing is a very powerful and evil thing. You should be happy you resisted it. But alas, others couldn't. Well, thanks for having me, Asian Critic Chick. I'm the Mala Critico, she's the Asian Critic Chick. There's a lot to choose from, but I'm glad you chose us. Yeah, what he said. Oh, look, a person! Okay, so this is... Until it started to snow in the middle of July. Totally freaky. Did he just and say totally freaky? You won't believe what happened to me and six other kids. Oh, by the way, my oh. name's Ty. Okay, this is convenient. So we got Ty, Sora, Izzy, Matt, Mimi, Joe, and TK. The Digi Destined. Eh. Oh, there they are. How cute. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. My name's Kuroman. Whoa, no shit. They can talk? 
wow, that's different. I like the Pokemon that just say their names over and over. So as the kids continue on through the Digi World, they learn more about what their Digimon can do and realize that the Digi World needs to be saved. And yeah, I'm not very fond of the dialogue of these kids. They talk too damn much. It's as if every time something happens, they absolutely need to comment on it. Whoa, did you hear that? It seems to be some sort of aircraft. It looked like a big flying gear. Admit it, my alien theory is becoming more plausible. Yeah, they hit us with an anti-gravity ray to make us all crooked. Or maybe that sign's just crooked. Oh, oh, shut shut up! up! And it's not just how much they talk, it's how fast they talk. There are no pauses in between and they change the subject so abruptly that it's so easy to miss what they're talking about. Oh my god! It's a piece of dust! It could have come off of a cockroach's wing. Ew! I don't want to touch it! I'm tired. Can we take a break? Just stopped five minutes ago. Yeah, besides, we're almost there. About 2.3 miles to go, exactly. Hey, what is that? God! Give us a break, man! And in the midst of their conversations, they also find it necessarily to make jokes about their surroundings. And every time I hear one of these sorry attempts at humor, my diaphragm just folds. Oh, I knew I should have brought my bug spray. Well, most of the time the Digimon are more interesting than the humans, but compared to Pokemon with the constant emphasis on I choose you, the Digimon appear to have chosen them and have sworn their loyalty to protect their human partners to the end. According to the Digimon, they need to share their human energy in order to fight and evolve. Hmm, does that mean they suck their juices out at night? And it's not like the kids had any choice, but they just kinda accept that. But how do you think they would be in real life? You're gonna be my friend! Uh, who are you? You're gonna be my best friend forever! I don't even know you! I'm gonna stay with you, eat your food, and use your bed, and share your phone bill, and internet connection! I don't think my mom is good. And you're gonna be under my protection for life! Uh, okay, I guess I could use that. Good! Now make me a quesadilla, no beans, and give me gas! Yeah, a normal kid probably wouldn't be too happy about this, but... Oh look! Fire! Godzilla size! Permanent property damage! Shit yeah! Who wouldn't want one of those? Okay, by now I watched some of the show, and it's not bad. But it's not very good either. Okay, let's get out of here. So happy I don't have to watch that again. Oh wait, what's this? English subbed episodes? talking about. No digi this and digi that crap, no excessive dialogue, no pointless jokes, and cake ass music. Yes! And from watching it, Digimon is actually a pretty serious show. It focuses much more on the adventure and the story than on the humor, and the change in tone and atmosphere makes the scenes much more intense. Oh yeah, and watch this evolve sequence. <laughs> okay, but it's nothing compared to the grand epicness of the Japanese version. And what follows is a musical number that encourages the Digimon to give it all they've got to save their human friends. Oh, Leori! 
ガンモンが。あ、シードラゴンの必殺技、アイスアロヤ。Stuff are fine too, with the emphasis all on oh flames, action, beating the shit out of each other. Whoa! Sure, it's easy to get excited about it, but that is not what Digimon is about. The Digimon only evolve when their kid is in trouble. Therefore, it's about finding the strength, courage, and honor in yourself to fight for those important to you, and through doing that, you can do amazing things. So yeah, I would say that I'm definitely more of a fan of the Japanese version of Digimon Adventure than the English version. Even though sometimes Japanese voices and anime can be obnoxious. <laughs> the English dub, with the unnecessary dialogue and cutesy moments, is a little too kid-friendly for my taste, and I can't watch it for two minutes without yelling "Shut up!" to the screen. But for both versions, the plot is the same. Kids might enjoy the English dub more, but if you're gonna watch the show as an adult, for God's sakes, watch the Japanese version. As long as you don't mind reading subtitles and that. Okay, here's the big controversy: the Digimon rip off Pokemon. Well, maybe they did, but anime has been known to reuse many of its plot lines and characters, so I guess it's similar to how James Cameron used the recycled plot of Aliens for Avatar. But what I always found surprising is that both shows did equally well, considering the vague similarities between them. And Digimon did manage to attract many Pokemon fans. And like Pokemon, Digimon is still running today, with its fifth season being released in the U.S. in September 2013. Well, that raises another question: Has the show gotten any better over the years? Digimon, Wow, this is good. The theme is great. The pacing of the dialogue is slower. The characters still talk a little too much. But overall, I wouldn't mind watching this. Some people might argue that Digimon is the better anime because of its more serious, linear plot, and because there's no Team Rocket type characters that keep popping in over and over again. Personally, I prefer Pokemon more because that was the show I had all the memories with. But if I had watched Digimon as a kid, I might have enjoyed it too. And being that both have maintained their successes to this day, that goes to show that this is what kids want to see, and they can appreciate it just as much when they're older. Both are excellent representations of action, creativity, spirit, heart, and adventure, and that's something that the human mind never gets tired of seeing. Digimon and Pokemon, two perpetual shows that will remain in our hearts for years to come because of the prominent level of entertainment they've brought to our lives and are still continuing on their legacies today. Wow, my first four reviews done, and let me tell you, it's been an incredible ride so far. So much has happened during these past two months, and the crazy thing is that it's only the beginning. And now, I've decided it's time to take it to the next level. So, prepare for a whole different angle in my new upcoming segment, the Asian Critic Chicks Extras. Well, until next time, I'm the Asian Critic Chick. I watch it 'cause I still can. Hey. I got to finish my sentence this time. Show's gonna be awesome. Watch it. Watch it. Ah!